What's up everybody, once again my name is Matt and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last episode I had Drac and we uh, we went back to the Forsaken Fortress, took on Phantom Ganon and defeated him. In this episode we're going to continue on in the Forsaken Fortress, hopefully rescuing our sister and avoiding the Night Knights. Uh, anyways, over here in the Forsaken Fortress you're going to notice a few changes. One, the spotlights are back on and two, you have these cannons here. Um, you're going to want to take out a few of these cannons while you're down here. Just a few key ones. Not all of them need to be taken out. Just probably one or two. I know I've done it with only taking out one specific cannon. But the more you take out, probably the better. Because in a certain area, you are going to want to take out at least one particular cannon. Because it will shoot you down pretty much every time. Unless you get really lucky. But that only happened to be once. So I'd rather not take my chances. But not too much has changed inside the Forsaken Fortress since we were here last time, other than the fact that there's a few new enemies and that it now requires you to have the uh, the skull hammer, as you can see over there, to get to the other side. But real quick, we're going to equip our Deku Leaf so that way we can glide over there without any problem. Alright, wow, I glided into the spike thing. Good job. All right, we take our hammer, smash those down, and continue on. Not a big deal. So, we need to wake, make our way all the way to the top, just like we did last time when we were here. Although, this time, we might actually be able to do something about that Helm Rock King. So, hang on, let me look real quick. Is there a cannon that I need to take out in this area? I do not believe there is. So, let's continue on. I was mistaken. There's a cannon later on. I know that I want to take out, like I said, because it will shoot me down. And uh, that's the best way to do it, is to just take it out while you go up. So, hopefully... Hopefully we pass that particular cannon while we're moving on here. I'm not sure if we're going to or not, but I can hope. And we're out of magic. That's not good. I'm going to have to use my elixir soup then because we need magic. So, drink up, Link, and enjoy. Hooray, full magic now. We're actually going to be heading back to Windfall later on anyways. And as you can see, our sword has a yellowish glow around it now. That's because we do, we do double damage, I think, until we get hit. So that's nice. But yeah, we're going to be going back to Windfall soon enough anyway, so we'll restore that elixir soup once we get back And What was that weird noise that I just heard? I don't even know what that was. That was really weird. I'm not sure what that was, but alright. Oh, here we go. This is where I want to be. Alright, let's just, uh, we can take out these moblins now since we have double damage, so we can just, you know, kill them. But, you know what, skirt, I don't want to waste time. Let's just go out to the next area anyways. It's not like I want to waste time with them when there is a lot of stuff we have to do in this episode. And uh, there probably will be a lengthy cutscene towards the end of this episode, so that's hoping that I can accomplish all that I plan to in this episode. But there we can take out those Night Knights, and of course they're just going to keep spawning, so I'm just going to run away from them and ignore them, pretend like they're not here, and continue on with the Forsaken Fortress. The second visit is- what the heck, get out of my way, man. Just, just both of you just die real quickly. Alright, thank you. Like I said, they're just going to keep spawning, just- Ignore them if you can. That guy got in my way, so I just wanted to kill him. Watch out around this corner, because you will run into these spikes. I've done it before. Like I just did there, and now I lost my double damage. That's that's just dumb. That's just dumb. <laughs> Alright, actually, over here is where the, uh, the cannon that I want to take out is. But I'm going to go around this corner first, because I believe I have to go around this corner, then jump down, and then I have to go all the way back through pretty much the Forsaken Fortress again to get back up here, but I'll probably cut that part out when I do it. This is the way I normally do it, just as, um, like, I don't know why, it's just habit, I guess, at this point. But the cannon I want to take out is right there. I don't know, it's kind of like, um, let's see if I can go into first person mode real- Oh, crap. That's not what I wanted to do. But yeah, the cannon I want to take out is over here anyway, so I'm just gonna go do it. And then, um, I'll probably cut back to where I was up there on the tower. But let's just take out this cannon, and we'll take out the spotlight as well, because, you know, why not, we're here. You die, sir! You may have been in trouble the last time we are here, but we have the Master Sword now, and we can just whoop your butt any day. I think the cannon's- there it is. Alright, let's put this down, blow up that cannon, and we'll go back up to the top now. Boom. Alright, sweet. And I'm not sure if I can- I can't go up that ladder. Alright, so I will meet you guys back on the top of the tower. Alright, welcome back. So we're just about to where we were before I cut and we took out that cannon. As you can see, it's right there now. Um, so now we can just continue on without a problem. Now there's no cannon going to be shooting at us. Like right here, that spotlight would see you and then the cannon would hit you when you're about halfway through. Almost every single time. I mean, I've, I've gotten lucky like once. Oh, don't you tell me. <laughs> it fell. I thought that Night Knight was going to be able to come over on like the, uh, 
the ledge and just like kill me. But luckily they can't do that. Ha, you have no AI like we do. Well, technically we don't have AI because I'm controlling the person. Oh, whatever. Smack you! Die! And that opens the door. Hooray! Now we can go in here. And uh, this is the room where our sister should be. So, let's go inside. Hello? Anyone home? <laughs> Hello? Being all sneaky. Metal Gear! <gasps> There's our sister, Aril. <gasps> Big Brother? And those two other freaks. You're okay! I was worried. Don't be worried, we're here to save you. Thanks to this conveniently located door, which appears to be locked. This cell won't open that easily. Hey look, it's Tetra and the Pirates. There you go, acting before you think, as usual. Just calls her boys in. I swear, do you even realize that we had to draw that monster bird off of you? It was about to come flying in here after you again. The gasp. <laughs> it's the master sword. What you looking at, fool? And the sword is shaking. That sword. Where did you get that? Are you? Is that even possible? How could it be? Hmm. Well, never mind about that. For now, we'll just take these girls. I'm sure their father is back in town will pay a handsome reward for the return. That's totally selfish. Isn't that like kidnap? Well, I guess... Wait, if you kidnap a person who's already kidnapped, is that like double kidnap? Or is that rescuing them? I'm sorry to interrupt at such a heartwarming re reunion. But isn't there something that you still need to take care of? Oh no, the bird! If you're worried about your sister, don't be. I'll promise I'll deliver her safely back to your little island. Normally, I'd expect a huge reward for something like this, but this time, it's my treat. Oh, that's nice of you, Tetra. Listen, Rail, your brother still has some things to take care of. Big, important, grown-up things. He'll be back soon, so just wait nice and quiet until he returns, okay? But, big brother... Miss Tetra, we have to hurry. The bird will be here any second. Gonzo, excellent. You're just in time. Take this one for me. Huh? But she's... She's fine. Just do as you're told. <laughs> Big brother! Bye, Rill. I found the pirate ship. Link. We'll be back. I swear it. Honor the pirate's code, Tetra. Honor the pirate's code. Oh no, there's the bird. It's the Helm Rock King. That's his name, FYI. <laughs> and the door closes behind us and shuts us in. What is this? Water. It's coming up from the ground, oh no. And here's the Helm Rock King himself. Oh, don't worry, Helm Rock King. We got, we got stuff for you. We got the Master Sword and the Megaton Hammer. You're going down. Alright, so in the beginning portion of, I guess, boss fight of the Helmrock King, all you're gonna do is literally run up to the top, so just ignore everything and just keep running. Um, he is going to try and destroy the platforms from beneath you, and there are going to be a few enemies dropping from the sky. Just ignore them completely, though, and keep going as fast as you possibly can, because um, even if he does break the platform, as you can probably see, there are areas that you can um, grappling hook onto. But if you're fast enough, you won't have to worry about that. And I'm trying to go as fast as I possibly can right now. We almost just missed that one. And we almost just missed that one too. But hurry up, Link. Come on. We don't want to We don't want have to pull out our grappling hook here. I would rather just do this in perfect in one try. And I think we actually did it just there. So that's pretty sweet. Anyways, that uh, that's pretty much the first phase. After when you get up here, pull out your Megaton Hammer and hit it in its skull. Now, its skull is slightly armored. So he's not done just yet, although it appears that we did hit him down, and that hurt a lot. So, we're probably going to want to keep that in mind for when we get up here and Phase 2 begins.
Now you're going to notice that there are spikes around this arena shaped area. You're going to want to make note of that because um, the Helmrock King is going to do an attack later on where he pushes you into those skypes, or skypes, <laughs> into those spikes and you're going to roll away from them to make sure that you don't get hit. So that's just, uh, that's just a forewarning of what's going to happen should you, uh, get pushed in. Now, the Helmrock King fight is actually pretty easy, although it's a little long just because you're, most of the time you're going to end up waiting for him to attack. When he does land, you're going to want to get close to him, that way he, uh, pecks the ground, I guess. Then you're going to want to hit him with the Megaton Hammer a few times. Um, as you can see, there's a little, like, crack in his little faceplate armor thing for his skull. Wait to hit that, I believe, a few times, like three or four times, and then it should crack completely, and then we can begin doing some damage on him with the Master Sword, like usual. So he's not really a hard boss, he's got a few attacks that could be dangerous, but overall, not really too much, and we're actually gonna get two hits on him here, in one time, in one try, so that's pretty cool, actually. I believe we only have to hit him maybe one or two more times, and then his armor should be cracked completely. For now, we just gotta wait till he comes back around, so watch out for this attack, he's gonna scrape the ground, you can just kinda sidestep and avoid it, and then he just flew into the rock in the background there. That was, uh, that was pretty funny. But yeah, like I said, most of this boss fight, you're gonna spend waiting for him to get down onto the ground where you can actually hit him, and luckily he's coming down again, and let's hopefully he can peck the ground, and there we go, avoid that, hit him again, and look, there we go, his armor is cracked, and now we can begin to hit him with the Master Sword. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, we only got two hits in on him that time. Maybe we can get him to peck the ground again. I don't believe we can. Oh, maybe we can. Hang on. Come on, sir. Peck the ground, por favor. And what are you doing? What is this? Are you, you're just dancing right now. What is that? I don't even... Come on now. Oh, this is that wind attack I was telling you about. When he does this, you wanna, you're going to want to keep it rolling, and that way you can avoid the spikes. It's an okay job there. Come on, peck the ground, man. Yes, thank you. Alright, let's do some real damage this time. Alright, we got a few good hits in on them that time. Hopefully, uh, we can kill him on the next time when he comes down. Where'd he go? Alright, there he is over there. You want to keep make sure you keep your eye on him too, because it's definitely going to be helpful when he does. Alright, let's hopefully we can get you this time. Come on, sir. Peck the ground. One, two, three, and he is done. Sweet. That wasn't so bad after all, now was it? Helmrock King is perfectly, or is defeated now. Well, at least he's defeated for now, and all the lights are going on him as if to show him flying to the sky and then exploding. There, now he's defeated, and he drops a lovely hard container that will give us a total of 10, which will complete our first full row of heart containers. Look at that, we have now 10 heart containers, and there's only 10 more left in the game. Most of those are going to come from heart pieces later on in the game, shortly after this actually, because we're actually making pretty good progress of the game, actually. I'm not going to lie to you guys. We're, we're getting close to the end of this. I mean, it's not like it's going to happen maybe in a week, but maybe maybe two, maybe a week and a half and to two weeks. We, we could be close to this game. So let's go up here, and uh, we can finally go see the Dark Master that was up here on the first visit of the Forsaken Fortress, or to the Forsaken Fortress, rather. And we can go confront him and maybe even take him down here. Who knows? It's been a while, boy. You have done well to sneak into my fortress and wiggle your way all the way up here. I suppose the least I can do is commend you for your reckless courage. My name is Ganondorf, and I am the master of the Forsaken Fortress. By the way, boy, when you drew that sword of yours out of its pedestal, did you by any chance notice how all the monsters frozen in time down there suddenly began stirring again? <gasps> do you understand precisely what that means? I highly doubt you do. Foolish child, while that sword is indeed the blade of evil's bane, at the same time it has long played another role. You see, it's also a sort of key, a most wretched little key that has kept the seal on me and my magic intact. By withdrawing the blade, you have broken that seal.
You cannot defeat me with that blade that does not sparkle with the power to repel evil. What you hold is useless. Go back to the world below and tell that pathetic fool who made this blade. Its power is gone and its edges are dull. Oh, hi, Tetra. Link, get up! Ugh, stop! Let, let me go! You pathetic little sea rat! Huh? My Troy Force of Power is resonating. Ha! At long last I found you, Princess Zelda! What what are, what are you talking about? I don't know any Zelda. Ignorance will gain you nothing. Tell me, if you are not Zelda, then why do you have this fragment of the Triforce? Mailman to the rescue! And if it isn't Valu, how you doing, old buddy, old dragon, old pal? Well, Ganon's toast! See what I did there? That was a terrible pun. <laughs> Here we are, back at the Tower of the Gods. And here's Valu once more. It's alright, Link. She has merely lost consciousness. Your sister has escaped the Forsaken Fortress with the pirates. You can relax. She's safe now. Lord Valu, you arrived not a moment too soon. We are deeply grateful. Still, it is too soon for us to relax. Ganon cannot be destroyed by such simple means of wrath and fire. I am aware of this. Yet, I thought our first priority should be to separate two from Ganon's grasp. I see, and I agree. Very well then, we are counting on you. So long, Valu. Thanks for your help today. It was much appreciated. You too, Rito Pirates. Or not Rito Pirates, Rito Mailmen. Link, I will explain things later. Now, we must return to the world beneath the sea. Link, you're alright. What is this place? And... Ganondorf, what happened to him? <laughs> hey. Link, what are you doing? You must come now to the room where you got the Master Sword. Who is using that stone? Just who are you? Link and I are the only ones who can speak through this stone. How dare you use what's not yours? Your name is Tetra, correct? You must come with Link to see me at once. Hmm. Well, don't you sound important. Fine, we're on our way. Just hold your horses, whoever you are. Link, what are you waiting for? You heard the stone. You're supposed to show me how to get to where that voice is. Alright, but we will do that in the next episode, guys. Once again, my name is Matt. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys then.